Hi everyone, Maury here, and today I thought it was time to start a New Leaf game. I've seen a lot of people pick up New Leaf who haven't ever played it before, and also people who have played it before getting back into it again, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I always have some sort of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the go, but I haven't actually picked it up for a while, so I thought it was time to start again. I have like a cool idea for an island in my mind, and it's just such a nice slow pace. Animal Crossing game. So I thought we'd start this journey together and we'll do a little playthrough of Animal Crossing New Leaf and I'll give you all of my little tips and tricks along the way. And yeah, so hope you enjoy this journey together. Let's get started. Oh, excuse me, I have a quick question for you. It's now 4.17 p.m. on April 2nd, 2023, right? Yes it is, yes yes. All right, oh good. This watch of mine, it gets thrown off really easily sometimes. I'm just gonna plop down into the seat across from you, if you don't mind, of course. He's so cute, like, Rover is so adorable. Look at him. By the way, you, hold it, can I ask your name? So I'm actually gonna call my character Moria. Um, I still want the character to be kind of based on me, but also a little bit different. So I'm just gonna call her Moria instead. Yeah, we're gonna be called Moria in this file. Oh, Moria. Well, that's a fantastic great name. Fantastical great name. We're just going to go for cute. You're right, it's a cute name and so fitting for a girl like you. I know, right? <laughs> so Moria, tell me, where are you headed today? <gasps> so I guess, is this when we get to name our town already? Ooh, okay, so you only get like eight letters and this kind of sucks because most of the towns I like have really long names. So I did plan ahead and I'm actually going to call my town Moss Vale because I want it to be very like overgrown, mossy, weeds, um, lots of bushes, lots of trees, very like overgrown swampy vibes, but obviously not really swampy because you can't water terraform, but you get the idea. I just want it overgrown and like nature flowers, everything like that. So I'm going to call it Moss Vale. I, I really, really love Moss. So yeah, we're going to go with Moss Vale. The town of Moss Vale. Uh-huh. Hmm, Moss Vale, eh? Yeah, okay. Didn't think it, I've heard of it. I wonder where it is. Oh, right. Map, map, map. Let's take a look along the train line. Or maybe this is it right here. So there's like different maps that you can get. There's not as many as in New Horizon. And the ones he shows you at the beginning, I think he shows you like maybe four. I can't remember. We'll have a look in a second. But you can actually like close out the game, reload it again and go through more options. There is like quite a few different options if you're not happy. Um, just so you know. And I might do that a few times. Obviously, I'll skip forward if I do that because um, I... I'm not sure what kind of map, map I want yet, and I'm quite fussy. If you've ever watched me stream, like New Horizons, when I choose a map, it can take me hours. So <laughs> thank God for recording, because I could skip all that and the illusion will be there. Okay, do we like this map? Hmm, no, I'm looking for like a little nook area. Nope. Huh, I was wrong. Let's see, maybe it's this one instead. Hmm. Also, I think I kind of want, all the buildings, like the main buildings, to be on one side of the river uh, because obviously I want like the civilization kind of separated from the other part. So, nay. Not that one either. Oh, how about this one right here? Hmm. See, this is okay, but then you don't have much space for like the nature part on the other side of the river. So, no, we're not going to go for that one either. I think I've definitely got it now. Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of vibing with this one a little bit because all the buildings are on the other side, um, which I like. And there is like this massive area over there. I don't like that there's a villager already living in that area because I want my character to be like in a nook. But the good thing is, okay, if you didn't know, again, here's another little tip. Uh, cedar trees only grow on the top half of the map. They won't grow if you plant them on the bottom half of the map. So. If you're wanting a house, if like loads of cedar trees are on, you've got to make sure that your house is a little bit closer to the top. Um, so yeah, that's like another thing. Um, I might look at this map. I might just have a look around. I can always close out, but let's go. Let's see here, let's just try this one. That's where Mossvale is. So do you get to go to Mossvale very often? Okay, so here are the questions that you have to answer to get a different face shape. So I've got like my little guide over here, there's like three different questions and each answer will lead to a different 
face type and eye type basically you can't change it later on in game so this is very important that you do this you can change your eye color and you can change your hair color later on in game so yes not your face or your eye type but you can change your eye color and your hair later on in game so yeah this is why this bit's important because you can't customize it again it's not like new horizons so i'm gonna do it's a secret wahaha yeah. <laughs> a secret you say okay how about telling me what you'll plan to do once you get to this place or is it top secret too i'm moving there again i'm just reading this guide i've got so i will link it mwahaha <laughs> you're a real funny one and then I'll be like, no, I'm serious, yo. And then that should give me the face I want. It should give me the sleepy eye face, because I like the sleepy eye face. I think I'll move to Mossfeld too. Hey, what do you think? I've just fallen. Anyway, I'm sure you'll find plenty of good times in Mossvale. <gasps> Here we go. So let's just see. It may not work out. I don't know. Now arriving in Mossvale. Mossvale Station. Hey, if I get pears, that'd be great. Oh, hey, looks like we're about to arrive in Mossvale. Thanks for chatting with me. It's, it's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this uh, this much. Come to think of it, I've been riding the rails an awful lot again lately. Ooh, I wonder why, Rover. Haven't done that much travelling by train since 2002 or so, man. That's weird. Oh, so that's a reference to the older games. Okay, good luck, Moria. Bye-bye. Oh, God. You get to see, like, your starter villages and stuff, too. Also, you get a unique train... Uh, station color and a unique um, town hall color. So all those things really matter. <gasps> and it's cherry, but oh, green. Okay, green station though. Green station, excuse me. Okay, what if this like is the perfect map already? I'm excited. Guys, I'm excited. This could already be it. Welcome to Mossville. We hope you enjoy your stay. Eek, eek. <gasps> oh, I love him. He's so cute. Goodness gracious. Okay, please be cute. Please be cute. Not that it really matters. But it would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh god. Oh! Coco! Uh, hey, look who just stopped, stepped off the train! I bet that's the girl! Standing around is getting awkward. Someone say something! Okay, everyone, here we go! Ready? And... From those of us at Mossvale, welcome! <laughs> so cute! Uh, Maya, we couldn't be happy to see you arrive, arrive safe and sound. You're confused. So basically, I've arrived at a town and they think I'm the mayor, but I'm not. <laughs> you think I'm mayor? Um, oh, come on. Quick joking around. You know exactly who you are. You told us which train you'd be arriving on. That wasn't me. Oh, no, you can't fool me. Things are just as you said they'd be. Oh, well, there's no mistake. Teehee, you're a real jokester. We'll, we'll wait. Well, let's continue your discussion at the town hall, shall we? Here's a map of Mossvale for your reference, Mayor Mori Moria. <laughs> that flashing spot there is the town hall. So let's uh, let's head that way together, shall we? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm really happy with like Coco, Mr. Beanbird, and then an alligator, which isn't like too much of it. Honestly, these guys are all kind of cute. And uh, then we've got the notice board. There's no point reading anything though, just in case I hate it. We've got square grass pattern. What kind of fruit do we have though? <gasps> apples! Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, apples is good. Okay. What about the town hall? Let's, let's have a look. We've got like one little pond there. And we've got one... Oh, <laughs> Cashy walking to the trees. See, it's actually cherry blossom season right now as well. So it's extra magical. The town hall is yellow and brown guys i i don't know i feel like this this is like a nice map and then we've got like the recycling center here that might be a bit awkward to get a path down to but i'm kind of liking that it's got a river right next to it because it makes it feel more like natural so i'm kind of vibing with that i don't have a good feeling about this and then we have like the campsite right literally right next to right next to the town hall. And then we could probably put like the coffee center here as well, like all in this little plaza area, because this is where the plaza is. So this could actually work out. I'm pretty happy, I think. Oh, let me go look on the other area first because I think where I want to put my house is over this way. So we've got like these two houses here. So whose house is this? Sly's house. Okay, we've got Sly's house and I'm hoping this is Bean Boy's house. Okay, that means Coco would be nearest me. And that makes me happy. And then we've got like a little waterfall area. That's really cute. 
And then let's go. Oh, there's more houses at the back. Oh, I wonder who else is living here. Ooh. Wait, so that means Coco might not be living next to me. So I'm thinking I would have my house like up here. Oh, that looks kind of like if Genji. Oh, right. So I'd probably literally have my house like here. I feel like that would be perfect in this little like groove area. Maybe, maybe more over this side. Maybe not too near the seafront though. Just because I, I like it when you can have, I, I actually really like this map. It's a really nice map. Let me see who this is. Oh, Greta. Oh, Greta's so cute. I probably won't keep her, but she's adorable. Oh, this, this is, I, this has never happened to me before. I normally have to like reset loads to get a town that I vibe with. So I'm actually really happy. Okay, sorry, Isabel. I'm just like leading you around. I could technically check my map, but I kind of like looking at the actual houses to see who's living here instead. Oh, I'm really liking this though. <gasps> Okay, let's go over this way. So obviously we're gonna have Coco's house over here, I imagine, and someone else. Oh, Coco's house, yeah, we knew that. Oh, I'm really liking this. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, and then whose is this house? Oh, Peggy, Peggy Pig, okay. Not terrible. I'm actually really liking this. I think, I think I'm gonna keep it. I can't believe this is happening, but apples, a green freaking town, I mean, a green station. We've got apples. I can put my house like somewhere really good and it's got all the buildings like literally so close together that we can really work with that and then like the the um, town tree and stuff will be over here and yeah I like all the little ponds and stuff too I feel like they're really really cute so yay I'm happy okay Isabel uh right shall we go to the town hall right let's go oh guys I think I'm gonna keep it I'm keeping this one this is this is cute I like it I'm happy I can't believe this has happened <laughs> first time wow I guess it makes it extra special okay here we are at the town hall Eek. May this town hall will be your base of operations oh and I completely forgot to mention I'm on staff here too I'm Isabel your secretary and I'm here to help you in any way I can but if I may be frank, I was surprised to see someone as young as yourself step off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the position for many, many years and was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of, breath of fresh air and exactly the new image on our town, and exactly what the new image of our town needs. You're perfect for the job. All right, of course we need you to get started right away on your work as a mayor. Therefore, first we must complete your resident, res, res, resident registration. A mayor really should be resident. So what is your name? Oh, Moria. Duh. Okay, I have your name. And next... Oh, no, this is bad. I can't believe I completely forgot something so vitally important. In order to register you as a town resident, we need your address uh, We need your address for the form. Moria, do you have a place to live yet? There aren't any vacant houses here, but you can build one. We really should have, your, uh, we really should have you decide where you're going to live before we proceed. And here I made you come all this way to the town hill for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. Oh, and on the other side of the tracks, on the main street, is Tom Nook's Homes, the real estate office. Ah yes, this might be more make more sense if you take a look at the map. See the railway tracks at the top of the map, head north from there to get to the main street. Some fresh air and exercise would do you good. A trip to Main Street. Maybe uh, maybe just what we both need. Uh, it will give me a chance to stay here and continue with your registration and you need to find Nook's homes. Once you've got a place to live, please come back here and let me know right away. Okay, wow, here we go. Well, let's go. Let's go see Tom Nook. See, this is what I also loved about New Leaf is that you had your shops and stuff like across the, uh, the railway tracks. So it kind of separated it. Hey, let's read the bulletin board now. To write, a okay, to use to create a new memo, use a raise to remove a memo, you close to stop reading, please feel free to leave memos. Little notice boards are so cute, which is very similar to New Horizons already. All right, let's go across the tracks. Man, this hair is like classic, <laughs> classic Animal Crossing hair. <laughs> it's so weird as well. Right, okay, so this is the main street. As you can see, some things are built boarded up. Oh, I'm so happy my museum's on this side. In my original game, the museum was on the other side. So it's it's nice when it's on the side. It's like always a bit different. Take a picture here. And yeah, there's some things boarded up, which we will discover later on. So we've got Tom Nook's Homes. We've got the, the post office, which is great. I miss the post office. We've got the Tom Nook's, uh, sorry, Nooklings. We've got Nooklings here. 
other things that are closed and the Able Sisters, of course. I don't know if I can, can I go in the Able Sisters yet? We'll go in there later. Let's just finish what we're doing because I do get awfully distracted. So let me go into Nib's home and go, uh, yeah, get our little home sorted. Hello, ducky boy. Ah, oh, hello, welcome, welcome. You must be the new mayor, am I right? It's about uh, at the town hall, tell me to expect you. On behalf of Mossvale Chamber of Commerce, I am pleased to welcome you. So, Moria, you're here today because you want to build a house, yes? Very good, very good. I can build one just about anywhere you want. Yes, I, I can indeed. So, have you decided on where you want to live? Yep. Then this won't take very long at all. Just uh, take me where you want to build your new home, Maury. Okay, we gotta get this right though. <laughs> we gotta get this right. I'm glad I can live near that top. No okay, I'll show you where I wanna. Come on, nookie boy. Please wait. Oh, I'm going too fast. Come on. Lou, he's so lovely and round. <laughs> he's a round boy. Oh, also, I, you don't have native flowers in New Leaf. You get lots of different types of flowers instead. So you don't really have to worry too much. But like I said, the only things you do get is like the grass pattern. So mine's squares or diamonds, I guess. You can get triangles and circles as well. Um, and and then yeah, the oh hi Coco. Oh Coco is so cute. I'm gonna have to probably keep Coco, aren't I? Hello again. I was part of the welcoming committee at the tra train station. I'm Coco. I just like to say I think Mossvale is a good is in good hands with you as a mayor. Oh, it's so cute, so cute. Right, let's go, Tommy boy. Follow me. So as I was saying, I kind of want my home up here because then I'll be able to have cedar trees. I probably will just let. Greta move away at some point. Like this little point is quite cute. I don't want to be too close to the sea though. So oh, what if I choose, what if, what if we do like here? Let's have a look see. So you can say yep here and then they should give you a preview. We'll need to move trees, flowers. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he's just saying, yeah, he needs to move things. Hold on a minute, let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's kind of cute. We've got trees behind. I know it's quite close to Greta's house, but I can do like a nice walkway going up here. And I can put trees behind my house because there's a little bloop bit behind. Um, and then, yeah, I just have to probably wait for Greta to move, but I think this is a good spot. I think this is a good spot. I like it. Yes, let's do it. Like I said, I'll probably have to wait for Greta to move away, but hey, Greta can be my neighbor, that's fine. There we go, yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderbar. Ta-da, and with that, your space is officially yours, Moria. Hmm, including the cost of the land, the materials, the building costs, uh, etc. Well, the calculation is complicated, so I can't come up with it just now. I'll tell you late, uh, total later. Anyway, I'm sure you're very busy since you just moved here. Once you've taken care of other things, stop by the store again to get the bill, hmm? Ah, but I suppose you still need a place to rest your head, huh? Give me a minute. Oh, it's so whimsical, I love the music. Ta-ta-da! I'll let you borrow this tent so you have somewhere to sleep. I've also put up a mailbox so you can not so you can even start receiving mail. It's a little shabby looking though. I bet you'll rarely see a tent with a mailbox, right? Oh ho 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 ho. Well, I'll be returning to my shop, so let's part ways here. Moria, you need to head back to the town hall, hmm? Now that you, you know where you'll be living, you you have to get registered as a resident, so talk to Isabel. In the meantime, I'll work out the numbers. Come by my shop again later. Thanks for your business. I do appreciate it. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. So even like Greta's right here, eventually she will move away. And I just feel like this is such a cute little thing behind the house. We do have like the sea over here, but it's still quite far away from my house. So I don't have to worry too much. And then I've got like this little bit that goes to the beach. So it's kind of all very convenient. And yeah, like I said, you can get cedar trees to grow in this part of the map because it still kind of counts as the other half of the map. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I know I've got like this big bit of land here. So I can like work with that later on and add some trees and stuff. So I'm really, really happy. Is Greta indoors? <gasps> Let's go talk to Greta quickly. I'm gonna see what she looks like in New Leaf. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Hi, Greta. She's so cute. She's an old lady mouse. Who are you? Oh, you can't fool me with your nice girl look. You're our new mayor. I'm 
got it. It's a pleasure to meet the person who's going to make Moss Vale truly great. Our last mail was nice, but he was a little crusty. Oh, I forgot the snooties are like really sassy. <gasps> but I miss their sass, so I'm kind of happy. Anyway, Moria, you're going to be a breath of fresh air around here. I just know it. Okay, Greta. I mean, I'm happy she's my neighbor because she's like really cute. She's like an old lady mouse, so I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy about that. Okay, right there, we better go register. Let's go. Hoko, I literally love you. I would die for you. You're like so adorable. You don't have weird peed hands in this one. Appreciate you. Right, let's go to the town hall. Wee. Living our best life, we are free. I just can't believe I got like a cute town hall. It's brown and yellow. And my freaking train station is green. I got apples, which is like the superior fruit. Uh, pears would have been nice, but it's apples. What can I say? I can't complain. <gasps> Hi, Isabel. I'm back. Oh, me and Mar Moria. Welcome back. So did you find the perfect spot to call your home? Yeah. Wonderful. I'm very happy to hear that. You're in a temporary housing for now, right? I do hope your house is complete completed soon. Living in a tent can be very tiring. Now, about your registration, I've completed as much as I can, but there's only one thing I need to know, and it's your birthday. <gasps> 14 of the tent. Wait, it already knew? How did it know? How did it know? <laughs> that is correct. That is my birthday. So October 14, hmm, that's your birthday? Yep. Thank you very much. Please take this. Oh, thank you. Oh, there it is, my little card. This is your own, very own town pass card. It's like an ID card that proves you live in Mossville. We call it the TPC for short. Your TPC is also kept up to date with your latest profile information. Tap the little person thingy. <laughs> on, it kind of looks like a keyhole actually on the touch screen to access it. As long as you have it on your you, you can visit other towns. You know, another neat thing you can do with your TPC is check up on your town or in, in, Innovatives. Innov innovatives. Your town innovatives. I think that's what it says. My brain is like, what? <laughs> innovatives? Sorry if that's wrong. I have dyslexia on my brain sometimes just like cannot compute. Completing town in, in innovatives earns meow coupons, which you can trade for rare items over the campsite. Oh, if you prefer good old fashioned bells, you can redeem your meow uh, coupons for those. There's two. Those two. Either way, be sure to check out your TPC every day to see what in, in, to, in, in innovatives are on offer. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right, but I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, then this wraps up just about everything we need to process your move. The last thing we'd like you to participate in the ceremony that commemorates your arrival. Can you take a look at the map on the touch screen? This place with the X is the event plaza. We hold special events there every now and again. Uh, we'd like for you to plant a tree in the square so it can become a great symbol of our town. Oh, the town tree. I love the town tree. I'll lead the way to follow me. The town tree is just such a nice little touch. We don't even have anything like that in New Horizons. So I missed that. Here we go. April seemed like such a nice time to start the game too. I just, I just love it. So please take the sapling because it's like literally spring. Like what better time to start a game but springtime and then we can experience all the seasons. So please take the sapling. Ba ba ba. Okay, Maria, now plant the sapling by hand by pressing the A and put your heart into it. Okay. Eee! A little B as well. See, perfect. Look at this town. It's perfect already. Oh, I love it. On April 2nd, 2023, Maria became the mayor of Mossdale. <laughs> Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. Ba -ba -da -ba. Mayor Moria, congratulations. I hope the tree grows just as strong and as lively as Mossvale. All of us are looking forward to the changes you make to our beloved town. Oh, I'm so excited. Hmm, well then, the tree has been planted, so please relax for the rest of the day, Mayor. I have other tasks to attend to, so I head back to the town hall. Please spend the rest of the day as you like, look around town and greet your new neighbors. And if there's something you don't understand about Mossvale or you just don't know what to do, if you don't know what to do, I can just, I can give a hand for advice on living here at the town hall. Feel free to come and ask me anytime, Lori. Good work today. Yay. And so our journey begins, friends. And now it saves. So remember, if you don't like your town map or anything like that, or the villagers, you got to close out before the, you plant the tree. So there you go. Before you plant the tree. 
you can now save your progress and, and end the game anytime when you want to finish uh, playing. Yeah, it's just little tips. Oh my god. Hi everyone. So yeah, this starts our journey on Mossvale. So stay tuned, friends. Stay tuned. <laughs>